Hey and welcome to new video. This video will be about making some benzoic acid from sodium benzoate, so probably not the most special reaction you've ever seen, but it was a precursor for another video. So here you have the sodium benzoate, I just got it from eBay as food additive, and first step is dissolving it in water. So I'm filling up this with wood, with warm water and I'm actually cheating a bit here because you just see it being filled to around half but there is some more water needed to get everything into solution. Somehow this is pretty difficult to dissolve even in hot water. And once you get this through it the probably the only thing you have to do is add acid to it. So on the left side you can already see that I put out some sulfuric. And I just made some small calculation that the sulfuric acid matches more or less the amount of sodium benzoate. So I actually found out that it's much more difficult to bibenzoic acid than to convert to sodium benzoate. So that's why this video is existent at all. Otherwise I would have just poured it directly. And now we have a pretty nice solution and add the sulfuric acid and you can see the benzoic acid is not soluble in water much. So you will see flaking it out producing this white precipitate that fills up the entire bottom. It looks like there is not that much, but once you stir it, you get a pretty nice slurry that stinks horribly. So I didn't not knew how when the gas it smelled, and it does not smell good. So this is now a mixture of sodium sulfate and benzoic acid, water, and probably some sulfuric. And this is not very useful, so I'm going to add more water to this until it's really a nice slurry that can be vacuum filtered. So this is basically warm raw material for vacuum filtration. And I did not make a video of how I filtered it through, but you can probably use a coffee filter as well, but I'm somehow impatient now and I did not want to wait. So after I filtered it and washed it with a bit of water, I laid it out on this cardboard stuff here to dry and for some reason it discolored the cardboard. I don't know why. So this is the first video of his series. See you in the next one.